Ah, the hollowed halls of academia. I remember them well. More like the hollowed halls of crackheads in my schools. Head over to Peter's frat house, interview his roommates. I'm going to break the bad news to the dean. Okay. Hi, I'm Captain Beckett. I need to speak with Dean Feller, please. <laughs> <laughs> It will be nice to have a best-selling author on the faculty. Oh. Welcome to the Hudson family, Mr. Castle. Oh, please, Dean Feller, call me Professor Castle. <laughs> oh. Captain Beckett, fancy seeing you here. Castle, I know what you're doing. Giving back to the community by molding young minds? You're not joining this case. Aren't you two married? Yes, we are. Dean Feller, meet Captain Beckett of the 12th Precinct. Yes, and husband and wife need a moment in private. Whoa, whoa, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, took me an hour to tie this. Well, you saw the tattoo at the morgue, didn't you? I saw Laney at the morgue. I can't recall if I saw other things on bodies with gruesome chest wounds. Let me ask you, how large of a donation check did you write in order to become a professor? Guest professor, look, I have no desire to interfere with your case, but I can't help it if my path crosses with yours while I'm teaching here. Castle, I asked for time. Why can't you give me that? Because you need me. Yeah, I, I can't do this right now. Okay. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I really need to know why there are police on my campus. A student of yours, Peter Garber, was found murdered in Central Park last night. That's awful. He was a wonderful young man, a model student. He won this year's fellowship award. Well, I'll need access to all of his files, as well as a discreet room to interview his teachers and friends. Of course. And as for you, Professor, this is a police investigation. Stay out of it. She's such a kidder.